Hello guys and welcome back to another Job Bank podcast. This is for you marketers out there. I am uh, sat here with Zerab, one of our service providers. Um, you may have seen on the previous video explaining about some of the other services, but this one we just want to dive into the visit visa. So uh, Zerab, can you let every all of our viewers know, you know what these visit visas entail? Visit visa is when somebody essentially wants to come to the UK for a visit. It's, it's, it's in the name. But what, what's happened is not every country has got, can get an, a visit visa uh, upon arrival. There's quite a number of countries that still, the individual still needs to go through a process. Now, there's no requirements from the Home Office that you should submit a certain application. There's no uh, requirements in terms of financial requirements, etc. But what the UK is most worried about is people coming to the UK and then absconding and not going back. Mm -hmm. So when an individual applies for a country to come into the UK, it's very important they instruct solicitors, people like us in the legal game, so we can watertight the application and demonstrate to the Home Office that they're here as a genuine visitor. They're not here to circumvent uh, Home Office rules and then not go back. Because the, the minute they don't go back, they become a liability yeah. to the state. Yeah. So a visit visa application requires a robust approach. And there are certain documents that we will request from the candidate to ensure that the Home Office is satisfied that they are indeed a genuine visitor. Right, right. And we, what kind of details would uh, one of our marketers need in, in, you know, in, in order for them to get one of these through the door? I think it's very important, firstly, that your marketing executives understand why that individual wants to visit the UK. Yeah. It could be somebody who simply wants to come to London for sightseeing. Mm -hmm. It could be somebody who wants to visit family here. It could be somebody whose uh, family member is getting married and they want to attend the wedding. Mm -hmm. It could be a, a religious, for religious reasons, they might want to attend a certain a synagogue or they might want to attend a certain church or a certain mosque mm -hmm. and that's why they want to pay a visit because there's some sort of program going on so there are several factors as to why somebody would want to come to the UK mm -hmm. so what your mark is very important for your marketing executives to take instructions from the client as to why they're coming who they're visiting how long they intend to stay what they intend to do during their duration have they got hotels booked? Have they looked at plane tickets? And what kind of finances have they got in the country they are in? Now, generally speaking, and this is just generally speaking, if somebody is sat in a, a subcontinent and he's got no revenue, he's got no money, it's very unlikely he's, he or she is going to get an application to visit the UK. Mm. Because the UK at that point is not satisfied that they are a genuine visitor. Yeah. However, if somebody sat in the subcontinent or an African nation and they've got a running business, they've got land, they've got family, and they simply want to come to the UK to see London, for example, then they have got more of a chance of being accepted as a visitor to the UK. Right. So information from the marketing executive is very, very important. Yeah. Well, how much uh, would you say a visit visa costs? A visit visa costs uh, the legal fees attached to a, a visit visa. There is, there is also a home office fee. Uh, but a typical visit visa, we will charge between eight and around £1,200. Depending, again, yeah. on how complex the case is and mm -hmm. what's the reason for the visit, etc. So, I mean, if we took that on average for our marketing executives, you know, say £1,000 per cost, and um, I, I believe the deal we've got is 30%. So the average payout we could expect is about £300 per per visa, if I'm right. It's fair to say that the executive, a marketing executive, will typically earn between £250 and £350 uh, per candidate that they yeah. submit to uh, the lead generation of. That's brilliant. And how long does it take for those payments to uh, to go through? Again, uh, 14 days. Yeah. Uh, we take the client's money up front. Yeah. Uh, we have to hold the money for 14 working days because yeah. the client can cancel the retainer within 14 days. Yeah. Thereafter, we're happy to release any payments. So you could expect your money anywhere between three and four weeks, and I'm guessing. Absolutely. 
That's perfect. Oh, well, thank you again for answering those questions, Zerab, and thank you for joining us on this other podcast again. No problem, man. Thanks a lot.